YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Wayman Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a topic that you guys still ask me all the time. I answer this question so many times per day but i never fail to get new people asking this question every other day this question is how long does it take to get waves i'm gonna answer that question for you but before i do that i need everyone and i mean everyone to go press that like button right now if you haven't liked the video then go like the video i'm doing this for you yes you so don't be selfish just help me out press the like button you did it okay fine how long it takes to get waves is going to depend on a few things the first thing it's going to depend on is how much you brush your hair let's say you're somebody that's super motivated and super dedicated you brush your hair day in and day out day and night when you wake up in the morning and before you go to sleep and even throughout the day you grind non-stop for someone like you you're gonna get waves a lot faster and your waves are gonna look a lot better because the more you work at it the better your waves will be but this is just for you know the first signs of waves this is not for you to get like the full 360 just banging with the perfect connections and all that i'm talking about like visible ripples showing up this should take you Mm, anywhere from like a week to four weeks so not too long not too short but don't expect it to come in like one day or two days and even saying one week is still kind of pushing it four weeks is even pushing it for some people what you need to realize is that everybody's hair is different and then everybody's process is going to take a different amount of time with that in mind you'll know hey maybe my process is longer or shorter than somebody else that I, you know, know that has waves. Maybe it's gonna take me a lot longer than it took Wave Man Mike to get his waves. Maybe it took Wave Man Mike longer to get waves than it took um, 360GZ or anybody, you know what I mean? Because everybody is different and everybody's hair is different. Also, let's keep in mind that there are a different category of people too. There are people that are super lazy and undetermined and unmotivated undedicated for those type of people they probably brush their hair you know 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night or 20 minutes in the morning 20 minutes at night i'm sorry to tell you but that's not enough brushing you need to brush your hair at least an hour each day especially in these beginning stages it really means a lot and every second that you spend brushing your hair is going to show up in the progress that you will be getting. So if you're brushing your hair, you know, only 10 minutes a day, your waves are gonna clearly show that you're only brushing 10 minutes a day, which is not something that's good at all. If your waves even show up to begin with, and it's gonna take you a lot longer. So I don't know why you would not just, you know, take the extra time during the days so that you minimize the amount of days. Cause brushing 10 minutes a day, you might, you might be in for one heck of a journey. It might be like three or four, six, 12 months before you even start seeing the first sign of waves. Mm, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? It's gonna take you a lot longer if you're not putting in that work. It's like driving from New York to Florida. If you're driving 100 miles per hour, you're gonna get there a lot faster than if you were driving 20 miles per hour now let's talk about methods there are a couple of methods that you can do to speed up your process however you don't want to overdo these methods because overdoing them might actually slow down your process crazy right something that will usually help you could actually harm your progress that's just the way things are one of the methods that i do the most for getting a lot of progress very quickly is the wash and style method if you don't know what the wash and style method is then that's fine because i've made a video on that and you can go check that video out i'll leave it linked somewhere but if i don't leave it linked if there's no link in the description or in the comments or you know that little thing that pops up here then go comment and tell me that i forgot to link it because clearly i forgot and if you need it if you really need it then you'll tell me but yeah the wash style basically 
helps you get a lot of progress really fast and it helps you maintain your waves when you get your waves especially in those wolfing stages but that's another video for another day but yeah i don't want to make this video too long i hope i didn't leave anything out but if i did i'm pretty sure you guys will ask questions in the comments anyway so if you have any questions go comment them down below also go comment the answer to this question right here don't ask me why just do it i like when i do this and then so many people have different answers than somebody else and then you guys are like in the comments saying no this answer is right no this answer is right it's just i don't know I, I just enjoy watching you guys do that so once again go answer this question right here all right that's the end of this video if you did enjoy it please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i'm wave man mike subscribe comment and like enjoy your day